Hi everyone, so I'm going to be going over Android Studio a bit and um, how you can use this with Expo. So um, Android Studio is great if you uh, want to run an application like Expo, which usually is, it is an application that runs on your phone, um, but you want like some kind of simulator. So Android Studio gives you that simulation of like a Google phone or Samsung phone. And it's great, it's free, so you can just go search for Android Studio. And you'll get to this page and it says download Android Studio. Just click on this button here and just follow the instructions like you agree and everything. And eventually you'll start downloading and you just need to follow the prompts um, while it's, once it's done downloading and just configure it and install it on your computer. Okay, so once this is installed, um, you get something like this that pops up. And what we want to actually do is um, we want to actually just get a virtual device. So um, there's sometimes different versions, but like um, you have to look for this virtual device manager. Sometimes it'll be at the bottom, virtual device manager, but this one it looks like it is on the side here. So if I just, if I can expand this here. So it looks like mine is on the side, but like there's these three dots or somewhere down below for you, there's virtual device manager. And when I click on this right here, um, there'll be some devices here if you have any. So I just, um, I wanna start from fresh. So I'm gonna delete a bunch of these here so I could actually show you what it looks like when I set it up so here it'll be brand new I'm just gonna click create device and I want to select some kind of device here that will be good enough for my project I think I'm just gonna say pixel let's say 4a and I'll click next and I'll click the R here, next. You can select portrait or landscape. So mine is mostly going to be regular applications and most likely it'll be portrait. So I'll say that and then finish. And what I could do is I can actually run this device so we could see what this emulator looks like. It'll just take a few seconds or a few minutes depending on your computer so we could see this device on our computer. So let's create a application on our desktop and this is just going to be a mobile app. So I'll start it up here. I'll create it. All right, so once it has been installed, you'll see that mobile app on our desktop. I'm just gonna drag and drop it in here, just so we could see all the files. So right here, we got the app.js, and that is the main area of our application that um, we'll see when we run this app. So we should see open up app.js to start working on your app. So I'm going to save this and I'm just going to do npm or I'll do expo start.
And as you can see here, we get this QR code um, that you can either scan or um, you can just actually press A to run, open up with the Android. And this is what we have on the right side. So I'll just hit the letter A on my keyboard and it'll start downloading Expo and also open up Expo so then we can see this application running on this simulator. So you can see right here, once it has loaded, um, you'll be able to see this application. Um, just cl click X if you get any of these pop-ups, but here you can see on our simulator now, we get the same text, open up app.js to start working on your app. It's the exact same text that's here in our Expo application. So now you can see how we can connect this code here to the Android Studio simulators in order to see our application instead of using it directly on our phone um, and using a tunnel um, in order to scan the QR code.